study unit 17 is the final chapter in the UNISA study guide. Study unit 17 is focusing on incomplete records. When companies don't have a completed set of financial statements, they need to complete their statements. Right, so what can they use? The accounting equation, why? Left hand side must equal the right hand side. Okay, so if you're missing something on the left, you can solve for it. If you're missing something on the right, you can solve for it. As long as you've got two of the three, you can complete your records. So incomplete records generally comes up in tests and exams when they give you a mystic figure that you need to solve for. Okay, solve for mystic figures. Right, like that, that past paper which is looked at, um, there was a mystic figure in those, um, go, go back, grab those things. Let me just show you. Okay, so this was what paper? May, June 20? May, June 2016. Have a look at this. Um, this tier count question. Right, there, there's a perfect example of a mystic figure. Okay, can I use that? This is study unit 17. Okay, find the missing amounts. Okay, this was for rent income. So in October, November, in May, June 2016, they actually used incomplete records and they asked you to work out this. What do I do? I took my debits and I subtracted my credits to get the missing amount because we know it needs to balance. Okay. All right, so what can we do to address this problem? I've actually given you the answer. We need to use the accounting equation or we need to use formulas. Okay, so one formula is A equals O plus L. Another formula is OE equals capital plus or minus the profit slash loss minus the drawings. Okay, these are equations that you've written in your book before. Okay, it's nothing that you haven't seen. Um, it's just recap. Okay. Right, so there's the counting equation. A equals O plus L. Remember, OE is owner's equity. Can I make owner's equity the subject of the equation? Yes, I can. OE would equal A minus L. Right, and that's useful to work out equity. Right, and we know equity is capital plus minus profit slash loss minus drawings. Okay, so these two are actually equal in terms of equations. Okay, so it's possible to calculate anything if we've got an equation. Okay, so when you do questions that have missing figures, uh, just some general steps. Look at the statement of assets and liabilities, which is the statement of financial position. Okay, the financial position can, uh, can help you work out a missing amount. Bank can also help you work out a missing amount. Okay, because bank, you'll have a bank statement, so you'll have internal and you'll have external records. Okay, it's like what we saw here. Uh, back to that paper again, grab the paper. Okay, so here, in that last question, they gave you what? The recon. Okay, so the recon gave you the bank balance, even if the question didn't give you the bank balance. See, this is incomplete. Did you have the bank tier count? No, you didn't. So do I know how much is in the bank? No, I don't. But I have the bank reconciliation statement, which tells me what's in the bank. Okay, so you can use different records to help you find the right figures. Um, if you want to look at the receipts and payments, then you would have to look at journals. Okay, there could be a missing figure in the journals, and the journals will help you fix your records, okay, or complete your records. And then you can look at purchases and sales. With purchases and sales, this is important. Because if I buy something, I'm going to sell it at a profit. Okay, so if you know what the markup is, you can work out the missing costs, or you can work out the missing selling price, depending on what they've given you. Gross profit is also sales minus cost of sales. So an another way I can work out something, okay, it's just by applying the equations. Right, and that's pretty much it. That's the end of the whole chapter or the whole book in terms of all the um, theory, okay, the UNISA study guide. Right, now we obviously need to just practice, practice, practice. This is key. Okay, the more past papers you can go through, the easier it gets.